Hello guys, welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In our last episode, we arrived in Las Ventures, where we met Woozy in the Four Dragons Hotel and Casino. In last episode, we completed some missions for Woozy as well, and this episode, we're going to complete even more missions for Woozy. So in the last venture, there is going to be quite a few missions where I'll go complete for Woozy, because this is where Woozy spends a lot of his free time, mostly in this casino, just gambling away. So we are going to be completing a few missions for Woozy in the last Ventress area. Hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Head towards a factory on the outskirts of town, you're going to disturb their operation. All this trouble because of a bad poker game? Well, if that's what Woozy wants us to do. Actually, before we go, actually, I might quickly head to the ammunition quick and quickly get myself some body armor as we're going to infiltrate in this factory with Death Gas and Sadako men to take out as we get in the factory. So I'm going to quickly go inside here and quickly get myself some body armor. New weapons available to buy, alright, nice. All I want right now is some body armor. Should we get some body armor while I'm here? It's definitely gonna come in handy. Wise choice, sir. Wise choice. Don't think I need anything else. I don't think I do anyway. Nah, I don't think so. Got myself some body armor. That's definitely gonna make this mission a lot easier because. We're going to have a few of the duck and men take up. Not only that, there is a certain enemy in there who always catch it. It does catch you off guard quite frequently while going there because this mission, I wouldn't say it's a difficult one, but you are going to have a lot of stuck men to take up. But not only that, there's also one enemy that also has a combat shotgun as well. Obviously, when he shoots you with it, he is going to chip away a lot of your health. And this guy does like to ambush you, so you've got to be very careful when you infiltrate this factory unit. That's why I decided to get some body arm just in case. When I first play this game, and occasionally if I still play this game now from time to time, sometimes I do get caught off guard by this guy a bit, so I may as well got plenty of health before I do infiltrate this factory. Okay, I've got police on my tail now. Ah, oh, great. Okay, it doesn't matter. I can still do this mission with the police on my tail. Yeah, I'm only on one star. I can easily outrun these guys. Okay, so the factory unit is going to be round, well, a bit more around. I think when we go around here, I think it's going to be like up the road somewhere, I think. Yeah, my way. So we've got a little factory unit and basically we're going through all this trouble because of Woozy having a bad day at playing poker. Yeah, I know what, well, I'm not really a gambling, I'm not a gambling person, but if you spend a lot of money and lose on a game when you're gambling, yeah, that can cause tempers to flare. If I ever want to gamble, I'd much rather gamble with video games to be honest, it's much safer that way. I'd hate to do lots of gambling in real life, I would lose so much money. These mobs have some guards watching the main goods entrance. Try and get into the factory unnoticed. Alright. Okay, I know exactly how we're going to get inside. We won't be able to do this in real life because this barbed wire. We're going to jump this barbed wire and get inside that way. And they've left us a chainsaw for me. How nice. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. Hey, who's this character? He looks like a cop to me. We better go on the bus. Somebody's got a fucking death wish if they're starting trouble around here. Well, it looks like I've got the death wish. Okay, I want to be very careful, so I want to infiltrate this factory very carefully. I'm going to quickly take out this vehicle because that's how they spot you. Let's actually go guns blazing here. So I'm going to make sure this vehicle's taken. I might as well get it taken out. 
All right. So I'm going to stand out here a bit and wait for some of them to come to me and take them out that way to make things a bit easier. So we're going to have a lot of men in this factory. Is that the guy with a shotgun? Yes, he is. Okay, at least that guy's gone. He was going to run outside and try and kill me, but luckily I kept, got saw him just in time. Well, I want to pick up that shotgun as well because I really want that shotgun. That is a powerful shotgun as well. I'll take it. We're going to make sure everyone around is taken out. So those are things that we've got to destroy. We've got to make sure all these are destroyed before we can leave the area. The combat shotgun, the spatula shotgun, is actually a good shotgun to use because it can, when you're close enough, you can pretty much blow all these up in one go. I'm just going to make sure all the enemies around here are taken out. Uh, I think there's one behind this pillar somewhere. Oh, there's one there, like, you can see him. Hmm. I knew there was an enemy there. It's good job I did get some body arm for this. Yeah, because this mission can get pretty chaotic. And just like that, when you pick up the combat shotgun, you can blow these things up quite quickly. There we go. Just two more to go, I think. Well, I might be a bit too close there, so I'm going to back off a little bit so when it does explode. Has that guy taken out? Is there any more of them coming in? Yeah, there's one there. And I think I could see one, actually, in the distance. Not this one. That's not the one I was thinking about. Gets him taken out. There's a guy in the car there. Shoot at him. There's a guy I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Right, this will be the last one. Once we destroy this one, we'll get the hell out of here. Okay, I think we're going to have some reinforcements turning up, but before they turn up, let's just get the hell out of here. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Is this going to open, or we have to find another way out, I think? Ah, we can take this way out. Just like that, that mission is done. We head back to Woozy and tell we got the job done. Yeah, just like that, hopefully you'll be feel much happier now after we lost that poker game. Look where you going. I think I've said a few of my YouTube videos now that I'm definitely not a big fan of poker. I've never really understood the game of poker, to be honest. I've never seen the appeal of it, to be honest. But yeah, I'm definitely not that sort of person who likes to play poker. Yeah, I think if you see me play like Far Cry 3 and a bit of Red Dead Redemption, where it was like a mission or two where you had to play a bit of poker here and there, you could tell that I was absolutely terrible at it. If I won the poker game first time around, I got absolutely lucky with it. Yeah, I just don't understand poker. I've never understood the game. I don't think I ever will, to be honest. It's just not my cup of tea. Okay, actually, no, I do not want to go this way, actually. I do not want to go on the highway. I want to go this way and get back to Woozy this way. Okay, so the casino is going to be just around the corner and hopefully Woozy will be in a much better mood now we've destroyed that factory unit. My advice, just don't ever piss off Woozy when he's lost a game which involves gambling. Oh, get out of my way. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, so we head around to the back of the casino and we, then we can give Woozy the good news. I know it can feel pretty bad to lose a lose like a gambling game like that, but still, all that trouble when you lose, yeah, Woozy has issues. Hey Carl, how'd it go? Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Mission Pass got $10,000 for that. Nice. He's got a bit of money from that. Okay, we've got another mission for Woozy. Let's go see what this mission involves. So, you completed the mission where you take that factory unit, but yeah, I've got some body armor and that, so. Yeah, that mission could have gone worse. I think it's a good job I did by some body armor to see how low I am on, bo on body armor from that mission. Hello? Who am I speaking to? It's CJ. Hey, Troop, is that you? Might be. 
might be a government algorithm trying to pick your brain, so don't admit anything. Whatever, man. What's up? I need a favor, Carl. Thought I could cash in some karma chips. Your credit good? I took some fellow travelers deep into the desert on a peyote safari a few nights back. We faced the inner light and communed with the Lizard King. Sound fun. How'd it go? That's the problem. I don't know. I'm in Los Santos. I woke up at a Japanese bathhouse about an hour ago. I have no idea how I got here or where the others are. They're probably fun. I don't think so. They were Brits, a band, and their managers. They have no experience about the desert. Okay. Where'd you make camp? I can go have a look. I took them up Marco del Oeste. Fantastic sunsets. Best start looking for them up there. Go find Paul and Matt. So we got a few Brits stranded in the desert. Yeah, I remember this mission. I remember saying down the last episode that it was going to be one of these missions where we are going to meet some familiar characters from Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and one of those characters we're about to meet right now. There was a Brit that interact that did communicate quite frequently with Tommy Facetti in Vice City, and yeah, he kind of got on Tommy Facetti's nerves very frequently. So if you've seen the name Paul that just came up, so the guy we're going to meet is Ken Paul. Remember the guy who spent most of his time in the Malibu nightclub. Look at the ass on that. <laughs> All right, girls, you're lost, mate, innit? That's the guy we're going to reunite with in this game. The fact he made an appearance of GTA San Andreas, I was like, ah, so he appears in Vice City as well as San Andreas. But also in this mission, we're also going to meet another character from... GTA Vice City as well, had a bit of reunion. Unfortunately, as much as I liked this guy from Vice City, but in San Andreas, I wouldn't say he's as he's unlikable, but yeah, this guy really went downhill after the events of Vice City, which I was not really expecting, to be honest, when I played this game. Yeah, seeing how uh, how well things are going at the end of Vice City with Tommy Facetti, and then he ends up in Los Santos in the state that he's in. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting the story, things to go this way. I mean, in some ways, San Andreas does like continue the storyline of Vice City in some way. Not massively, but with some of the events that do occur in San Andreas, you can kind of see where what happened to some of the Vice City characters after the events of GTA Vice City. And we also meet a few characters from GTA 3, which chronologically takes place after this. We met Catalina, who is the main antagonist of Grand Theft Auto 3. I mean, it's pretty obvious she's the main antagonist, especially when you meet her in this game. She is a bit of a psychopath of woman, so as you expect, she is uh, the, the main antagonist of GTA 3. If you play GTA 3 before, you already know that, but in case there's time here to not play GTA 3 before, I might as well just point that out. There's also another character we meet in GTA 3 as well, who we've not met yet, but... There's another character we are going to meet a bit later on who is also going to be a, 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 one of the main characters in GTA 3 who gives you frequent missions. So we're going to come across that character a bit later on as Let's Play as well. I'll point that character out when we get to him. Oops. Okay, we've got a bit of a sandstorm going on around here as well. Britain has no deserts. I know that because I live in Britain. I mean, England's not a very big place. England's not really in the right place on Earth to have deserts. England's nowhere near hot enough to have deserts. I mean, much as I like hot weather, but I think, have, I think having deserts will definitely indicate that weather will probably be too hot for me. Uh, oh, how, oh, please tell me I can't get up here. Alright, I'm going to have to just walk away. I hope... Well, if I can find another car, I'll hijack it. Depending on how far away it is from here. Ah! Fuck! Oh my days! Okay, I finally made it to the two Brits. Hello? Hey, anybody out here? The truth sent me. Hey, over there. Hey, man, you all right? Fucking hell. I'm fucking hanging. Stone me, bloody crows. Oh, where am I? I don't know, mate. I was having a dream. I was wanking over some fat bird's tits when this twat turned up. Maka, you fucking psycho. You did it again, didn't you? That peyote was shite. You are lucky I brought some tabs along. I told you a million times not to put stuff in my fucking drink. Oh, piss off, kidder. 
Who are you again? Oh, I'm a friend of the truth. He said you guys might need a ride in the town or something. But I'm a fucking raspberry. You're not a fucking raspberry. I can't feel my legs, RP. I've wanked the use out of them. Just stand up, you soppy cunt. We go through this every weekend. Ow, woo. Man, what the hell was y'all doing last night? Anybody got a rag? Ah, <sighs> so where I'm taking y'all? I got a pal, Rosie. He's got some casino gig going down in Venturas. Sweet. All right. Fuck off, String. Oh, charming. All right, ladies, let's go. Come on, fucking Northerners. Well, it felt like I couldn't feel them, honest. You need to find a vehicle with at least two passenger seats. Well, luckily I brought myself a little taxi. Well, these two certainly ends up in a bit of a state last night. One of them was wanking over some fat bird's tits. Well, he actually remembers that bit, so... He obviously didn't have loads and loads of drinks. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be hard to forget that, would it, if you were doing that before you had a few drinks? So where's the rest of the band, guys? Macca, where are the boys? I don't fucking know, do I? I remember snakes. Lots of snakes. There's a snake farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. Hmm, it's a good place to start. You look as pale as a drowned baby, man. Oh, oh god. Oh, I think I'm gonna chuck. P, what you need is some food down your... <coughs> a fried egg sarnie with mayonnaise or so, eh? <coughs> what you been drinking? Oh. what about a pickled egg? Oh, pull over now! Oh, no. Come on, Paul. Let it out. I've got... Get out of my... Hey, what are you doing? I'm not gonna take it anymore. What the fuck? Where's he come from? Oh, Bad mistake, buddy. What the hell is going on here? Oh. Are you serious? Okay, we finally made it. Here we are. Look familiar? Looks just like sulfur to me. What are you talking about? Take a gander at him, fellas. Is that him? That there city boy has gone and been with my prize hog. Now I don't even get no sugar from her. And that one done screwed my sis. I had a terrible aching in my grinds ever since. I'm gonna slap you silly for giving me and my fellow the red bumpies. What in tarnation? I'm a fixin' to give you a whooping for what you gone and done to my young uns. That's the woman Macca was wanking to. Fortune Macca can't wank over her anymore now. Let's get out of here. Everybody in the car. Oh no. Let's take him out. Right, please try to tell, but I don't care. Let's just get back to Last Ventress. Oh, fuck's sake, get in the car, Maka, you dopey prick. Oh, for goodness sakes. Alright, we're in the vehicle. Good. Let's get out of here before I fail this mission again. Big floppy sausage sticks, empty saddlebags are bee stings. Rosie's a man. And stop touching yourself. It's just for comfort, Pablo. This is a stressful situation, man. You're fucking telling me it is. Ah, oh, can it, you two? Hey, he started it. Let's just get back to Last Ventures before I get myself to any more trouble. All I had to do was pick up these soppy Brits. The amount of times I had to restart this mission. I hope I can cut through here. Is there any water? No. Okay, it looks like we can cut through here. Good, this would be a way to get us back into Last Ventress. Ah, I think the worst part is Mitch is finally out of the way. Almost got busted by the police as well, for the second time. Oh man. Well, at least we're finally back in Last Ventress, that's something. 
Honestly, I should have left them two to just die in the desert. For the trouble that went through. The amount of trouble what I had to do was pick these two soppies up. And, yeah. Died once. Got busted. Yeah. All this trouble for picking up these two breads. You may think these guys are pissed. You need to see the state of this guy in a minute. You may think Ken Paul's in a bad way from today, but you wait till you see this guy. Shit, here come them snake forms. All right, I had enough. Let's finish this. Oh, I'm gonna grab some big tits, man. Oh, bollocks. In for a penny, in for a pound. My kid gloves are officially off. Die! Bitch. Come on, then. Let's go in and see Rosie. Kent Paul, here to see Rosie. Hey boss, there's somebody here to see you. Oh, go away. I have a migraine. Oh, hey, Rosie, son, it's me, Paolo. Oh, God. My despair is complete. Okay, let him in. Rosie, how are you, me old son? I pray that one day I can escape my perpetual torment and retire in peace and comfort a million miles away from anyone I've ever fucking known, and instead, I get this. Come on, it's me, Kent Poe. Well, hello, Paul. What a pleasant surprise. Who the hell are these guys? These are my boys, Mecca and Cole. Sir. You are any speckled doves, boss? I'm peeking on one right now. Top of the range, <laughs> man. Well, it's fitting as I sit here up to my neck in a river of shit with every mafia gorilla from Liberty City to Los Santos pissing in my face that you, Kent Paul, should witness it. What's the matter, son? Too numerous, oppressively insurmountable, and depressingly fucking typical even to mention. So all right, bruv. Paolo can help. Give us some space, would you, son? I'll give you a tinkle later. All right, for sure. Not you, Mecca. Oh, you twat. Unbelievable. Hey, Woolsey. I think I found a way to scope Caligula's casino without causing too much suspicion. We can talk later. Ken Rosenberg there is a pure example of why you should never get on drugs, no matter how depressed you're feeling. He said, if you're ever having a bad time, drugs is never the answer. Ken Rosenberg is literally proof of that. Hey, looks like I ain't got much available, so I'm going to have to wait for some phone call. Speak on it. All right, Cole? It's me, Paolo. Listen, Rosie's in a tangle, and I think you're the geezer to sort it out for us, okay, sunshine? Slip around the office and see me, double quick. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity. Well, gotta go see Ken Rosenberg. Alright, I may as well. As it's the only mission available right now. Alright, yeah, I think we've got time for one more mission this episode. Let's go see Ken Rosenberg. Let's see how he's holding up. Do I have to go around the back or do I have to go inside to see him? Can't remember now. Oh, I have to go inside to do this mission, don't I think? Uh, so. So where do I start this mission? Ah, here. Oi, Rosie, liven yourself up. Carl's here. <sighs> Hello. What's happening? Hey, you some top fanny down at that pool, Pabsy. Eh? Oh, leave it out, Dimlo. What's wrong with you? Well, are you going to tell him or shall I? I'm really screwed. Crack on, Rosie. Spit it out. I threw it all away. Okay, 
I had the power, the money, the ladies, but I couldn't lay off the blow. So I went into rehab and everything went to shit, but so what? So when I came out, I started representing the Liberty City mob again. And that's how I ended up here. But no one family would trust another family to run the casino. So I was put forth as a neutral party. So now I spend my days waiting for one family to cap me and blame the other one. My only friend is a bird named Tony. I never fucked anyone over in my life who didn't have it coming to him. Shit, let me think about this. You're going to have to break it down for me real quick. Okay, okay. The Sindacos are on the warpath. Okay? I mean, something terrible like has happened to Johnny. I mean, he's in a shock-induced coma at the hospital across town. Now, the Ferrellis, they will take this opportunity to rub him out. Now, if any hit between the families succeeds on my turf, I will get the axe, bullet, machete, Okay, whatever. okay, relax. I'ma shoot over to the hospital and move the body or something. There you go, my love. Things ain't so bad, are they? <sighs> Bada-bing! Damn, Kem really is in a mess. Bloody hell. Alright, let's go find this body and make sure they don't find this body before Ken does get in even more trouble than what he already is. I'm about to try and rescue some guy and scared half to death. If he wake up through all this, I'm screwed. Let's just go find this body quickly. So what happened with Ken Rosebo is that Tommy Facetti sent him to rehab after the events of IC when Ken started going on the drugs and the place Tommy for say sent him to, to rehab was an area in the Los Angeles San Andreas area and so far for Ken things have not gone to plan with the rehab. If the rehab doesn't help you know you're in trouble. But we can get Ken through this. You need a vehicle to pick up Johnny. Well there's plenty of vehicles here. This one will do. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to pick up Mr. Sindaco. Mr. Sindaco? There must be some mistake. An ambulance just picked him up. Oh, okay. Thank you for your help. It must have been the Mafia took Johnny, find the ambulance that contains Johnny. Oh, there's going to be hundreds of ambulances in the Las Ventures area. Either one could have him. Oh, man. Thanks for that. Let's go find some ambulances. We'll go around, find some ambulances. If we're lucky, we can find the right one. So there are three ambulances on the mini-map. One of them is going to contain Johnny. When we find Johnny, Ken's going to be a very lucky man indeed. If we do find this Johnny guy in a big seat like this, I mean, Ken's hope hasn't run out completely. Ken's going to be one lucky man. Okay, so one now is going to be just around here somewhere. I don't know. If, I don't think I'm on a time limit for this. I don't think. There's no time limit, but I don't know. Maybe if you spend too long trying to find answers, maybe the mission will fail or not. I don't know. This mission doesn't really take very long to do, so I don't know. I've never really tried it, to be fair, to see how long this mission goes on for. Round the ambulance, see how the driver reacts. Yep, that's a real ambulance. Get off my car, man. I know you shot your ambulance, but get off. <laughs> this guy won't let me get away. <laughs> oh, that's great. Get out of my car! Okay, here's another ambulance. Looks like it's the ambulance I had to try. Smash it up and show the Mafia you mean business. Those gunshots scared that ambulance guy. At least he's off my car now. Okay, so I need to hijack that ambulance. This, this ain't going to be easy, but I'm going to have to ram it a bit and try and try. I'm going to have to shoot him a bit, aren't I, for him to get that ambulance. If I can shoot it enough, they should be able to scram from the vehicle. But I don't want to shoot the vehicle too much to the point where it ends up on fire. Well, at least we know which one's the ambulance. I just don't want to lose this ambulance. Are you allowed to drive if you blind? Oh, 
I don't want to keep shooting this vehicle too much. Amateurs are quite strong vehicles, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to shoot this vehicle too much. But I'll keep shooting and see what happens. Hopefully it won't blow up. Oh, now I've got police after me now as well. Oh, great. The last thing I wanted was the police on my tail. Come on, pull over already. You ain't getting away from me. Not in an ambulance anyway. Oh, he's stuck, he's stuck. What you been drink? Maybe not, I had a good opportunity then. I'm going to quickly pick up this star, get the police off my tail. Right, nice. Well, this vehicle's nearly on fire. I'm going to have to find our vehicle in a minute, I think. I found my have some Sindaco boys after me now as well, which I do not want. Okay, now he's on the highway, which is not right, which I do not want. Yes, I've got a vehicle chasing me. Uh, not what I wanted. This ambulance doesn't know when to quit. Get out the vehicle already. Ah, oh no. I don't know how much longer this vehicle's going to last. Right, here we go. Finally. All right, who's messing with Borelli's business? Oh. Yeah. Who's got uh -oh. a death wish? Years ago. I need to get out of here quick. Let's go. Drive Johnny back to the meat factory. Okay, we got the vehicle. Well, that took a lot of boys. That is a strong ambulance car. Let's get this guy to the meat factory. Okay, I hope the meat factory should just be up ahead here somewhere. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be just up ahead. Just here. This looks like the place. Hey Johnny, how you feeling? I didn't think he was gonna be discharged till tomorrow. There we go. That's how this all missions are coming up. So I think what we'll do is I think I'll go back to um, I'll go back to Wu to Casino Wu hangs out, save our progress, end the episode here. Then we'll, I think I'll decide the next episode who to go see first. Go see Crash, or we could go do another mission for Ken Rosenberg. I think we could do some more missions for Ken Rosenberg in the next episode. I think yeah, I think we could. I don't see why not. I think that's probably why I'll do the next episode. I Ken Rosenberg is going to be closer. I think to where. Casino is. Uh, let's have a quick look at it. Just want to double check that. Casino's there, so. Yeah, it looks like Ken Rosenberg is definitely closer. Let's just get back to the casino and let's end the episode off. Okay, we're now back at the casino. We're going to say my pro. Looks like Woozy has got a mission for us, unfortunately, but I think Woozy will have another mission for us again later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my progress here, and next episode, I think we'll go see Ken Rosenberg again. Ken Rosenberg's in a bit of a bad way at the moment, so I think we'll go do some mission for Ken Rosenberg and get him back to the character that he once was in GTA Vice. That is not going to be easy, if we can even do that. Okay, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas episode, loads to my channel. And next episode, we'll go see 
obviously Ken Rosenberg and yeah hopefully make you feel less depressed than what he already hopefully get him out of his drug addiction as well well we'll start to anyway I'll see you guys here next episode thank you so much for watching this is Goldie X and I'm out